What's up guys, John Anthony here. I'm doing a little bit of a different video today in response to this pandemic uh, sweeping the, the globe. So as some of you know, I have a huge interest in life extension, anti-aging, preventing disease, preventing ailments, optimizing health, okay? I have applied my optimization superpowers, so to speak, to pick up in game and dating. And I've also applied them to uh, health and well-being. Okay, so it's only natural to do a whole shitload of research, talk to a lot of top experts, and then turn it into a flowchart, which is how my mind works. So I want to cover this with you guys real quick. Um, as a disclaimer, I am not a doctor. These are the recommendations of other doctors. But none of this advice that I am giving here is to be considered medical advice um, I will not be held responsible for anything that you do uh, correctly or incorrectly utilizing this information basically this is take it as is okay you can do your own research on your own but none of the liability is going to be on my shoulders I need to make that statement because some people are fucking retarded uh, for instance this hydrogen peroxide solution can be dangerous in higher quantities if not done as described here okay so <clears throat> what is this coronavirus bullshit okay coronaviruses have been around for a long time they bind to something called ACE2 ACE2 receptors which are in the lungs okay this disease is coming in through your mouth through your eyes through your ears and your nasal passages, okay? Mostly through your nasal passages and your mouth, okay? It's also coming through uh, your fucking dick, if you're a man, okay? Or your vagina, if you're a woman. But that's of less concern. <laughs> this, and, or your asshole, if you happen to be a gay man. But this uh, set of recommendations here is meant to... <laughs> I was going to send this, this video around to friends and family, but now I need to be selective given my way of speaking here. But yeah, I made this, I made this chart. Well, it already is a picture here. It's a picture that I sent around to my family and friends, and I'm going to provide links to which supplements and stuff for them. But jumping right into it, um, the foods are not going to be nearly as important. Basically, in order of importance, it's this blue section here that will prevent okay and or treat again these are this is not to be considered professional medical advice okay this is from a compilation of top doctors and rich people that i've i've met in my travels around the world okay i have a, a nice network of even people that are billionaires people that advise countries etc cetera, etc cetera. so take it as as you will okay but this blue area which is what we'll start with over on the right i'm not sure if my mouse is going to show up hopefully it will um, there's something called oxygenation, oxygenation therapy. So like a quick little uh, simple set of instruction here. Uh, you have things in your body called free radicals, okay, which are unstable molecules that need an electron to be balanced them out, to be balanced out, okay. Antioxidants, okay, neutralize free radicals by having an extra electron and they can donate, okay, to stabilize that free radical. Now what you're doing here with this oxygenation therapy in the blue, and I should note, you want to do this for two weeks on and then t take two weeks off. Okay, you don't want to just hammer this relentlessly. And the first week is really going to make a huge difference. Okay. Now before I get into it, think of it, think of your immune response as like a pendulum. All right, when your immunity is in top form, okay, when it's very optimal and, it, and it's in, in very good condition, that pendulum is still. Okay. As you age, okay, as you age, your immune system lessens. Um, as you uh, get other ailments, okay, heart disease, cancer, whatever it may be, okay, and in, in this particular case, we're talking about a respiratory infection, coronavirus is a respiratory infection. So now it's really swinging if you have things like bronchitis or asthma or other respiratory problems, but it's swinging. Environmental stressors contribute, shitty diet contributes, stress contributes, etc., etc., etc. So most people's pendulums are out of control. Okay, now this thing, uh, whether it was created by 
man or not. There are theories out there that, that China released this on their own people as a calculated attack against the U.S. economy um, because they're one of the only states with, what's it called? Um, but it says communist rule, so they can keep people inside under threat of death. They, they claim, and who knows if it's true or not, to have contained it, and there's no more new cases, whereas it's rampant in the U.S. Um, but it has caused a severe economic blow to the U.S. economy, and Trump has been enforcing strict and tough trade regulations on China, where they, they once have had, prior to Trump, had a free-for-all. Um, anyways, I'm not going to make this a political discussion. But uh, I want to get into to here. I don't remember what the fuck I was <laughs> the fuck I was talking about actually. Oh yeah, the, the pendulum. Um, and there's all these other viruses that your immune system is contending with. Okay, there's there's all kinds of viruses, and th this is why I'm big on optimal health. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember the point I was making. That this coronavirus coming in and picking off the old and the sick, okay? Basically, you can think of it in simple terms as once your pendulum is swinging, okay, to, to a certain degree of a threshold, okay, once it's getting past that threshold, now you are at somewhat of a decent risk of dying from this, okay? So the goal of this video, and again, this is not professional medical advice, do your own research and, and uh, you know, do these things at your own risk, but the idea is to bring your pendulum, okay, most notably for people that already have diseases or compromised immune systems or old age, okay, like I have three grandparents, 189, 186, and 184, okay, so they're, they're in the high risk group, okay, one has high blood pressure, you know, that, that makes them even more susceptible, etc. So here's how you get your pendulum back under control so that if and when coronavirus comes along, your body just fends it off, okay? A, a normal healthy person is not gonna have symptoms in most cases, okay? Or you'll have a slight runny nose or whatever. So that's the goal of all these things, okay? There's no magic bullet. This blue thing here is as close to a magic bullet as you can get, and I will go into that in a second. Um, I'm sorry for the length of this. These are important little asides that I wanna get into. But now I'm gonna to try to stay on, on task and go through the, each thing here. So it's oxygenation therapy. Basically, the way it works, just look straight at the example here. On a typical day, and of course, this is going to change based on what time you wake up, you would do the peroxide right before breakfast, okay? And the peroxide is the, the path here on the left. Then two hours later, you'd hit yourself with antioxidants, which are in the, the green right below here in the same, on the right, not the green on the left. Then peroxide at one, peroxide at five, antioxidants at seven, peroxide at nine. Now, what does the peroxide therapy entail? Okay, every four hours, 20 to 25 drops. Now, this dosing is very important. Again, it can be dangerous in higher dosages. 3% hydrogen peroxide solution diluted with 15 milliliters of water. Okay, what you're going to want to do is put, with a syringe, squirts up both nostrils and then a few drops in the ear or a small squirt in each ear, and then you drink the remainder. Okay, if you are worried about the dangers of drinking hydrogen peroxide, it is, it is supposedly safe, according to these doctors, in, in this quantity with this dilution, but you can skip the ingestion if you so desire, okay? Antioxidants, there's a whole host of them, but the, the main ones are vitamin A, okay, and, and the dosing is noted here, 10,000 international units. Now, there's two versions of vitamin A, um, retinol, which comes from animal type products and beta carotene which comes from plant products you want the one that comes from animal products okay and, it, and this video would go on and on if I wanted to go into all the fine details behind this stuff do your own research or trust me either way but again I'm not a doctor this is not official medical advice vitamin D 5,000 international unit, units vitamin C 1,000 milligrams vitamin C is water soluble it's the premier water soluble antioxidant in the body um, vitamin A is particularly particularly important for repairing uh, nasal cavity type stuff and keeping those cells and areas strong. Um, so that's that, okay? And, and he, and he said, and, and it's gonna, that's what that's gonna do is kill a whole shitload of viruses that are already there, okay? So that your immune system is not overloaded. It's gonna slow the pendulum down 
so that when, if and when, and probably when, more so than if, because this thing is going to sweep the whole globe and be totally out of control, um, when corona comes along, and by the way, there's, I think, there's about 2,000 strains now or something like that. Someone was telling me, let me check, I get updates from a whole bunch of these different doctors and different people. Um, let's see. Um, sorry, let me just check this out real quick. Um, yeah, a real smart friend who's been researching the fuck out of this said there's like 2,000 plus coronavirus strains now. And some of them possibly might have immune memory erasing problems the same way that measles does. This claim is based on two Korean soldiers who had the virus recovered fully then got reinfected. Now, now, okay, now the re there's been reports about people being reinfected that I cannot stress enough why it's even more important, given that data, that you need a strong immune system because that first round of coronavirus is going to weaken your immune system. Let's say you do nothing, you do none of these recommendations, you get coronavirus, and then your immune system is weakened, you get reinfected, and then in that now your odds of dying are way up because your immune system is very weak. Okay. Now, the last thing I'll say about this, this blue stuff here, it's causing oxidative stress. So that's killing all the viruses that your immune system is dealing with around the clock. Okay. It also destroys receptor sites, so coronavirus can attach to the cell membrane. Okay, so what, what coronavirus does, it comes in, starts in the respiratory, respiratory area. And then eventually, and it's like kind of like in the throat, eventually it settles into the lungs, okay, but not right away. And one, once in the lungs, you're in deep shit because, and I have this whole diagram that I've drawn out and everything. I, I probably should have had that ready. Let's see, I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up here. Apologize for the... Okay, take a look at this. So, number one, you have your epithelial cells in your lungs. In picture two, you see, and again, look in the webcam here if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> in the upper left. Um, <clears throat> COVID, uh, that cuts through the epithelial cells, okay? And then, basically, when there's this holes in the epithelial cells, bacteria gets into your blood, okay? And that's what's causing pneumonia. Pneumonia, because there's this shit that's normally kept at bay by epithelial tissue. It's it's getting into your blood. It's not supposed to be there. That's what's causing ammonia. And in some cases, when corona has infected the lungs significantly, it's basically liquefying the lungs. And it's like a free-for-all for the bacteria to get into your lungs. And it has been theorized by these doctors that I've talked to that if, if it gets into your lungs and even if you recover from it, you're going to have diminished lung capacity for life. That's right, for life. So you do not want this making it into your lungs. You want your immune system to be tip top, extremely strong, okay? So think of it that with this blue thing here, there's like diminishing returns, okay? So that first week, the pendulum's fucking going crazy. Let's just talk about a pendulum that's dealing with viruses, okay? Other viruses besides coronavirus. Now you do this oxygenation therapy, okay? It slows the pendulum way down, okay, in in the first week. Now, in the second week, it's slowing it down even more. Okay, now you take two weeks off. Your body's kind of restabilizing all this shit. Then you hit it again, and it's making it stabilize even more. But the point is, even just doing this for a week is going to provide significant, significant aid in your immune response and not allowing those receptor sites to be impacted, okay? One other thing I want to note, because it just came to mind, and I'll probably forget it later, is that there was a Japanese study that showed that the transmission rates of this going through the air decreases by 50% when you have very humid climates. Okay, In the Japanese study, there was humidity between like 78% and 83%. Where I currently am in Florianopolis, Brazil, the humidity levels are 82% on average. Okay, And I'm also right near the water, near the ocean, which provides natural antiseptic relief okay um you do not want to be in a big city if if at all possible during this 
Um, most of my viewers are younger guys anyways, but, but pass this information on again, I'm not a medical professional and I'm taking no liability for this. Pass this information on after you do your own due diligence or if you trust me, because I did my due diligence to the extreme degree with this stuff, um, pass this on to your, your parents and grandparents. Okay, so um, that's that for the blue stuff. Okay, try to be in a humid climate if possible, okay, to prevent the transmission through the air. Um, regarding food, okay, like I said, food has much smaller of an impact than the supplements do. And I, I have argued ad nauseum in, in a whole bunch of papers that I've authored um, how supplements provide consistent breadth and depth of nutrition. Like take, for instance, as a quick aside, Vitamin C, the recommended daily allowance put out by the FDA in the United States is 70 milligrams. That's to prevent acute scurvy, okay? However, and I talk about this in a different video, some of you may have seen that, Linus Pauling, who won two different Nobel Prizes in different fields, he's the only one to do that, um, found that humans need 2,300 milligrams to prevent heart disease. Okay, so, the, and again, water, vitamin C is a water-soluble antioxidant. There's no tolerable upper limit. There's no unsafe limit that will cause toxicity. And <clears throat> if someone you know gets coronavirus, speaking of vitamin C, look into high dosage intravenous vitamin C therapy, look into hydrogen therapy, and look into something called MMS, uh, either Magic Miracle Solution or master miracle solution which is like this blue stuff on steroids okay and that these treatments are also useful for cancer and heart disease okay anyways i don't want to say too much about that shit i want to keep this video somewhat low profile low profile so for foods stick to these foods on the list whenever possible they're going to provide different things without going into all of them foods like watermelon are very good for the immune system um Shellfish, for instance, have zinc, which is important for immunity. Um, you guys should be taking a ZMA supplement anyways, if not order it. Okay, you should be lifting weights, uh, zinc, magnesium, and the A is B6 in the ZMA supplement. Take that. Zinc and magnesium are important for immunity as well. I did not include those on here. But, okay, it's jumping into in cold-pressed celery juice is the other food. It's very hydrating and has lots of minerals you need. Will just help your body function better overall. Okay, supplements. Bee pollen. I wrote down here in the bottom. I was reading all this stuff. That I had I had this recommended by multiple doctors, but I was reading all this stuff about it. Bees have no white blood cells. They have no immune system. Okay, pollen is the only defense. So pollen is very, very, very antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial. Okay, why? Because even one leak can devastate the entire hive. Okay, so that's needs to be a staple in your immune boosting regimen you want to get the granules you don't want to get capsules okay then you're going to take one teaspoon of the granules in the morning one teaspoon in the evening cordyceps okay stimulate cells and specific chemicals in the immune system you want to take high dose a lot of the cordyceps come in like 500 milligrams 500 you want to take 5,000. okay that's gonna be slightly expensive but they don't it doesn't have according to these doctors in their own words, doesn't have the therapeutic pharmaceutical effect, medicinal effect, I guess, is what the, maybe the term they used, um, unless it's at the, this dose. Okay, it needs to be very high dose. AHCC mushroom complex related um, improves the function of the immune system, aids in restoration of levels of cytokines. This is going into immune science, which I'm not going to get into. You can, do, you can Google this stuff on your own. Um, AHCC is used to fight cancer, amongst other things. Okay. Also, if you happen to be living in Europe, you can do this in the U.S. too, but it's less available. Um, ozone therapy. Okay. It's basically O3, oxygen level three. Put you do ozone therapy by. I used to do this when I was in Poland, about once a week. Intravenous ozone into your bloodstream. Okay. That's going to purify a lot of your blood and prevent things like cancer. Um, Omega-369, okay. Omega-3 is anti-inflammatory. Omega-6 is inflammatory, okay. Um, I read a Japanese study that had 8,000 participants. 
that found a near perfect correlation to the top your risk for the top 50 degenerative diseases and the current imbalance of your omega-3 to omega-6 meaning that we used to be at one-to-one -one ratio okay omega-3 anti-inflammatory omega-6 inflammatory it used to be one-to-one -one ratio okay prior to like 50 60 years ago with the onset of the modern western diet um, people started introducing stuff into their diet like refined grains sugars processed foods um, basically anything that's not a whole food okay a whole food means it has one ingredient what's the ingredients in a potato okay that's just a potato <laughs> what's the ingredients in like a microwavable meal that you'll get at your grocery store okay there's like a hundred things that you have no fucking clue what they are and they're wreaking havoc on your body and causing inflammation so this japanese study found for literally the top 50 degenerative diseases your risk as your omega-3 and omega-6 came out of balance your risk has almost a near perfect correlation so you can bat that chronic inflammation problem that plagues most people in our modern society by eating a diet the mediterranean diet is one of the look, google that that's about the closest to the best diet you can eat stuff that we used to eat in nature okay fish nuts berries okay but you can also take very high dosages of omega-3 and the other big anti-inflammatory is curcumin okay found from the spice turmeric used in a lot of indian cooking uh, turmeric actually blocks uh, inflammatory pathways cox2 cox-2 not to be confused with cox c-o-c-k-s cox2 pathways it blocks those in like 12 different ways to prevent cancer it also stimulates activity of the p53 gene um, which hunts out cells that are about to turn cancerous and initiates apoptosis which is a funny or a fancy word for cell death this is all from memory i i don't talk too much on this channel but this is this is pretty much my my biggest interest besides exponentially increasing artificial intelligence uh surpassing human intelligence and destroying the world <laughs> this happens to be one of my my second biggest interests is just health optimization in general um once my mentorship is somewhat autonomous which should be in the next year or two uh, i'm refocusing a lot of my energy and efforts into health optimization disease prevention life extension but going back to the chart to finish up omega-369 uh decrease inflammation and aid the immune system okay last but not least i think it's pronounced echinacea i don't know exactly it doesn't fucking matter increases the number of white blood cells okay 400 milligrams in the morning 400 milligrams at night okay so if you choose to follow this again do it at your own risk as you can see these supplements in the green are going to boost your immune system in different ways as will these foods as will this oxygenation therapy in the blue okay I'm working on my chrono product coronavirus product to do game during coronavirus and still get laid during coronavirus uh, hopefully that will be released this week and I will put up videos what's included in that um, if you have any questions about this stuff leave it in the comments and i hope this can save your loved ones and friends okay also for standard uh, advice regarding avoiding uh, transmission and, and these kinds of things with the masks and the alcohol gels and this and that i won't get into all that you can google that stuff but this is what you can do internally to keep your body safe and this is going to have many other positive impacts as well so that you are healthy in general not just against coronavirus but against all disease okay um and the reason i'll just put in really quick here this last thing the reason why i'm so interested in this stuff is because i really really like taking something that has a high utility okay applying hyper hyper analytical systematic thinking and optimization towards it and then it becomes like a quantitative science okay with health you can find you can do a comprehensive blood panel you can see which levels are off you can course correct with food lifestyle and supplements and then retest and literally quantitatively move your, your levels back and you can keep your nutrition profile and various systems in optimized states okay i did the same thing with game 
to give you optimal chances with getting laid with the, the most quantity and quality that you can. Um, I did this on nuclear missile defense, nuclear, biological, and chemical missile defense for Lockheed Martin for five years. I did this with chess, I did this with poker, et cetera, et cetera. So I like doing this. <laughs> I sent this out to my smart friends. They're like, oh my God, we love your charts. Um, but yeah, I, I just whipped this up really quickly today. I wanted to get a video out about it. So I hope this was helpful. Um, stay safe, whatever the fuck that means. Be proactive is more likely. Do stuff, do these things so that you're not rolling the dice. I told my family, uh, my parents and grandparents, I said I prefer that you actively uh, diminish the odds as much as possible rather than rolling the dice and then possibly dying. Okay, that's how most people handle their health. And it's even more um, of a problem with this disease going all around. And I've heard some scary shit from some of my billionaire clients, which I won't go into here. It's privileged information. But you're going to want to protect yourself here. So, because there are mutating strands, and some of them have very high mortality rates, okay? And we don't know how quickly those are going to uh, permeate the globe, okay? So, <clears throat> Again, hope this was helpful, and keep a lookout for my coronavirus product. It will be under $50. It will include a free call with me personally, okay, where we can go over your sticking points. Um, and of course, yes, I'm going to be letting you know about different things I have to offer. That is one of the main reasons why I'm doing it. Uh, and, yeah. Um... I don't think if there's anything else. That's pretty much it for now. Um, you still can get laid like crazy during this, and you can do it in a safe way. Okay, that's what the product will go into. But pass this along to friends and family. Uh, just the chart. I'll put a link to just the chart. Um, we can take a screenshot. But thank you very much. This is John Anthony. And I will have a, a health and nutrition uh, YouTube started at some point as well. But hope this is helpful, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.